Hi everybody, Emily Chamel here for HipKit Club and today we are looking at how I created a layout using this absolutely stunning sketch by Sophie Delorme. It's for the weekly challenge and this week we are looking at sketches. And I started with a background where I've applied some white gesso. I wanted to give it a bit of a snowy frosty look so I went about it very roughly and just worked it slowly and then splattered a lot of layer white droplets all around it just to emphasize that idea of snow and snowy background the way i work with sketch is always the same um, it's the same as i do with mood boards i simply look at the sketch for a while uh, mentally make a note of all the things i want to use and then i put it away and work without it in front of my eyes we also had to create an embellishment uh, by ourselves, so by hand, and I decided to create a Christmas tree shaker. So I made a few measurements just to give it a bit of an idea of a Christmas tree, and then I went about it just simply by hand and reworked it until I was happy with it. Once I was happy with the drawing, I went and drew inside it. This is going to be the top part of my shaker and it's just creating an edge so that I can attach the window part of the shaker onto the background so we can still see the uh, layer sequence that I am going to use. I'm fussy cutting it with my scissors and then I am um, taking off the middle with my craft knife. The reason why I use my craft knife is that if at a later stage I want to reuse the middle part of the tree, I can still use it. It still has the shape of a tree. Before doing that though, you've just seen, I just drew around my first cut so that I would have exactly the same um, image, the same shape for my background. So now I'm inting the inside of the window of my shaker with my craft knife and I'm just careful to cut it so that I can reuse the middle tree in the future. I'm not using it on this layout but I can use it again on another layout. I am now gluing the windows apart so the drawing side is going to be down. I'm gluing it with glossy accents. This is what I do the best to acetate in my opinion and it means that I don't have to cut around with any sticky tapes. I am then using double sided sticky foam pad that I've halved and I'm placing it carefully all around my tree. I am fast forwarding you through that process because it took a while to do. And then I am removing all the sticky tapes and I'm also filling in uh, my window with my sequins as well as a couple of um, ephemeris die cuts. I am now closing my window with the backing and there we are, we've got a shaker Christmas tree which I'm going to use on my layout. I am applying now some of the Glitter Nouveau paste that we had part of the mixed media kit through the Snowflake stencil. I absolutely love this combination, it's a combination that I've used in a previous layout and I think it's uh, very effective, it looks beautiful and the glitter paste uh, works really beautifully through this stencil, um, I love it. 
I am cutting off the edges of my photograph and I'm mounting it onto this red paper. I had cut out some of the flowers previously for a previous layout and the reason why I've not cut off the edges, as you can see, I can still use the borders to mount my photo and it hides the hole and I still have some use for that paper, which no, you might not have had, had the use otherwise. I am now looking at all my Christmas tree that I can use around. I want it to mix some die cuts as well as some chipboard, just to have a bit of a mix of texture, especially as I have that shaker Christmas tree. I want it to have different dimensions onto my layout. I am also applying, um, once my photo has been glued down with double-sided sticky uh, tape, I'm also using uh, some stickers that are part of, uh, of the Pocket Life kit. I remember that one of the particularity of this uh, sketch was that the title was at the top, which is very um, unlikely for me, something that I don't do very often and that was definitely out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to reproduce that and I thought the Christmas magic title was very, very close to how Sophie had written the title on a sketch. So I decided to go with that and it worked perfectly with my photo anyway. I then added a few florals, uh, just a couple, around my layout just to add a bit of depth. I also added a little penguin that was adding a little Christmas bubble. I thought it worked perfectly with my um, shaker Christmas tree and it added a little touch of cuteness. I mounted it on sticky, uh, double sided sticky foam pad to add a bit more dimension to the layout because otherwise it would be a very flat layout as it's uh, all paper and there's not a lot of dimension otherwise so yeah I'm, I'm adding everything on double sided sticky foam pad that I can I wanted to add a few more wording at the bottom just to balance it all and once I'm happy with all of that I am tracing the lines for my journaling I know Sophie's calling for handwritten journaling, but I always use my layout half stamps and I'm sticking with my half stamps for this layout. Once my journaling is all fully written, I am then looking at adding the bottom strip details that was part of the sketch. And I wanted to do it with some pattern paper as well as a few ephemeras and embellishments. I wanted to add a little tiny strips, but I knew that wasn't enough, so I added a, another full length strip as a base to go underneath it. And then I'm layering all my embellishment on top of that gluing it with double-sided sticky tape and I am then adding all the other details so I'm adding that paper strip just there a little branch of holly that was coming from the die cut I'm also adding the 25 that was from the die cut I thought it worked really nicely and it repeated the black from the Christmas magic title from the penguin and from my journaling and I love the idea of layering on top of it a sentiment and it just made it all work quite nicely together. I'm adding a few drops of New Evo drops in gold and in pink that were part of the uh, mixed media kit. Just to add a little bit more details and as I was doing that I just thought it needed um, another strip at the top of the layout just to frame it all in. 
Um, so I went on and cut some slightly smaller strips uh, from the same papers as I did um, on the bottom. And I just wanted to make it much lighter than what I had on the bottom because the bottom still needs to be visually our base and it needs to hold it. Um, so I kept everything smaller and I just kind of repeated the same ID with a bit of wording, um, a little branch of uh, like leaves of some sort and as well a wording and I used the wording in black just to repeat that 25 as well as my layer wording um, that was at the bottom. There, once it is glued, that's it. This layout is finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you'll take part in our challenge and thank you very much for watching. Bye!